Hello and welcome back to Adobe Chats, B2B Marketing Demystified Asia Edition. I'm your host, Joe Escobedo, and with me today is Vishwash Guar, who is the Head of Customer and Digital Experience at FWD Insurance. Thanks so much for being on the show, Vishwash. Thank you, Joe, for inviting me. Uh, looking forward to an exciting conversation. Absolutely. Really excited about today's conversation because today we're talking about marketing in financial services. Our focus is on customers. Whatever we do, whether we are creating a sales process or we are creating a service process or uh, we are creating a simple web page, that everything is for customers. And we craft a story so that we can understand that what is the kind of the behavior people are showing. What is the kind of the reflection or emotions uh, they might have? So our web pages, our sales flows are on that. So data talks us about that what the customers are looking for. Then we create the products or the content or the services um, with that using the technology. So being a digital direct company, it's very important for us to sell online and service online and being available online. So in that space, our entire shop is our website. If you enter in a, a showroom, which is a physical showroom, and if that is so messy that people can't find the kind of the shoes or things they are looking for, then it becomes difficult. We learned from uh, the offline world that the, how people actually behave in the offline world. And then um, we implemented to understand the various interactions of, of our customers with the website. And then by this tracking, we understood, okay, uh, these are the possible friction points which are causing the difficulties. So typically for a car insurance, how it usually happens that you uh, enter your details and after you enter details, you actually shown two or three different plans. Uh, after you tell me about your car, I show you three different options and I say, Joe, please pick one of them then you'll be confused. So what we did here, we learned from the data um, that what people are actually uh, buying more and what are the rationals of buying more. And of course, like what kind of the add-ons or the riders they pick. So we call that social proof and we started making recommendations. By making such simple recommendations, our convergence is improved. Also, we were able to actually help more customers in, um, in buying online in a very simplistic manner. This was one of the example of how we improve the conversion rate. Emotions are very important. So that's why uh, our chatbot name is Fade. So we put a human face there. So she moves her head here and there. You'll see the hairs flipping as well. So so as much as possible, real experience, when people are actually coming to a specific page, they have some top um, questions as well. So instead of letting them go into the chatbot, ask those questions, and then getting the answers, we often started, okay, these are the top five questions most people ask to me. Um, do you have any one of them or ask me any of those questions? Right now, uh, one fifth of our digital um, interaction volume is actually managed by this chatbot. That's a lot in terms of savings, in terms of productivity and efficiency and so on. Whenever it comes to crafting an experience, um, our team is actually paying a lot of attention uh, to the customer emotions, behaviors, and we are doing a lot of research and insights. When most of the other companies were actually selling online products in, in a 20 or 30 minutes or maybe 40 minutes long journey, we were selling it in eight minutes. Someone will say, okay, we should display this on our web page. And then we ask the question, why do we need this? From top to bottom, everyone is thinking from customer experience. And that is one of the things I'm really proud of. So that reflects in the user experience research and insights. I, once again, I think some really practical tips in here. I love, once again, it goes back to what you're saying at the very beginning, think about it from the customer's point of view, because that's one of my big pet peeves. When I go to a website and going back to your point about form uh, fields, if you have to go through 20 or 30 fields as, as, a, as a customer, you're already stressed out. You're, you you want to jump off that, that website. So 
asking the question with your team, why are we putting this form? Why are we adding this? How can we do it a little bit different? How can we simplify the process? And it goes to show you, you talked about from 30 minutes to eight minutes in terms of purchasing a specific policy, which is incredibly fast, considering that the insurance and financial service space is not the easiest um, concept to navigate, that you simplified it that much by focusing on UI UX is, is very impressive. So well done to you and the team, Vish. Mm -hmm.